This is Leslie tries to make rotisserie chicken. Take one. Okay, so I'm doing this because mom texted me and said, can you do it? And I said, I'll try. So worst case scenario, I'll feed it to the dogs. Here we go. So here's my chicken. Um, to be honest, the last time I touched a raw chicken, whole chicken, was when we were butchering our own chicken. So been a while. All right. Um, I'm mostly going to follow the directions out of the cookbook, but I'm a little lazy, so I'm not going to follow all of them. Figure it's chicken. It can't be that hard. First thing I'm going to do is put herbs in it. Um, there were measurements, but I didn't check, so I just went to our garden, and I got rosemary, some thyme, and some oregano, and I'm literally just going to stuff it in the chicken with no rhyme or reason. So I'm going to go through where the neck is, because that's the only place you can really do that. And this feels invasive. My family better pretend to like this, even if it's not very good, because this is taking going to take a while. Okay, so I've got it stuffed with herbs, and now I'm going to truss it, which I have literally never done. So I've got my cotton string. And I read directions on the internet, so, you know, should be good to go. And it said to measure it, but, yeah, that looks good enough. Snip. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this back so you can watch me probably fail at this, but here we go. I used to do goat tying in ninth grade. I guess it's kind of similar. You tie the legs together. We're about to find out. Okay, look, that didn't work. I don't remember the directions, but my hands are gross, so I don't want to touch my phone again. Okay, feet are together. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. The feet are together, and then wrap it, the flip. Ooh, it almost went sliding off. And... You know what? I'm going to call this good. I really, as long as everything holds together, I don't really think it matters, but it's correct, quote unquote. So, and I'm double knotting it and we'll cut it off because I don't have enough string to make a cute little, neat little tie. Okay, so here's my trust chicken. Yeah, that should stay together pretty good. Um, I just realized I was supposed to season it before I trust it, but too late now, I'm not redoing it. Uh, and I was also supposed to make a rub and mix it all together, and I'm not doing that. So I'm going to rinse off my hands, and then I'm going to start throwing random spices on it. So I'm doing paprika, and just putting some on both sides, because, again, I'm lazy. And garlic powder... I love garlic. Some onion powder. La la la. Some black pepper. Not too much. We don't like spicy stuff in my family. And I know some people say black pepper isn't really spicy. But it kind of is. And then just salt. Here, let me do my thing, right? So fancy. Um, and then I'll do the other side, and I'll come back and show you me trying to put it in the machine, because that's going to be fun, too. Um, honesty, I just fought with that chicken for, like, half an hour to try to get it on the spit. And, um, I still don't know if I did it right, but I think I did, so I'll show you. So, here's my trussed up spitted chicken and kind of hard to see but I'm going to put it into our air fryer it's the um, Emerald Gossi 360 and it says I just put it in one side and then the other I'm a little worried I didn't do this right so it's not going to fit um so it technically fits in the machine um 
but it's also like dragging the bottom of it. So I have to retruss it to be continued. I mean, it doesn't look wrong. I'm not sure that it looks right, but I'll just keep ironing. If it starts burning, I'll take it out. Alrighty, so then I come here and I go to, it's hard to see, rotisserie four, three, fifty, oh, fifty, four, fifty-five, and now for the real trick, will it actually turn or did I do it wrong? Okay. <laughs> um. Here's my creation, hopefully cooking. It'll stall out. You can do it. And then it'll go over. Kind of like falls that last quarter turn. I'm not redoing it, so this is gonna have to cook. Um, I will let y'all know what it looks like when it's done and uh, go from there. I'm not mad at it.